So, one of the most requested videos from you guys over the course of the last year and a half has been about bookkeeping, accounting, taxes, and those sort of things. Now, while I'm not a certified tax accountant, I cannot give you any sort of advice towards taxes, today I wanna to talk to you about how I keep together my books and do my bookkeeping to make it more efficient, to make it audit proof, and of course, save me more money. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Kenny. If you're new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make more money and better financial situations, specifically from your home. And in today's video, I wanna talk about how I deal with my bookkeeping. So in today's example, I have just a receipt and this receipt actually has nothing to do with my business. It's not actually a business write-off. It's a, it's a, what is it? It's beef jerky. But we're gonna use this receipt for our example today. And so I want you to think about the way that you currently do business. Some of you guys maybe don't do this at all, but a lot of people, what they do is they take these receipts and they put them in a shoebox or they put them in a separate drawer and they let them stack up throughout the year. And at the end of the year, they simply hand them to their accountants and say, there are my expenses, here's my income, you do the rest. And while this is still a legitimate way to do business, what you have to remember is that the accounting firm that you're using is probably going to be charging you $100, $200, even $300 per hour, which is way over, to categorize these things. And they're gonna have somebody else that they hire to do their bookkeeping for you. And so how can you save money is the question. And so what I wanna do is I wanna to go to my cell phone and show you exactly how I do this. So. First things first, this is an app right here that I have on right now, and it's called TaxBot. You can see right here, it shows some of my deductions for this year. I haven't put anywhere near all of them in yet. But what it allows me to do is on my cell phone, it allows me to submit my receipts as I go. So when I'm at that business meeting or when I buy that, you know, yesterday I bought some extra copy paper for the office, or when I buy a new printer, or when I buy a new office computer, or whatever the case may be, I can go in and I can just simply click this submit receipt button. So I'm gonna click that, and now you'll see that receipt that I was just talking about. I'm simply gonna snap a picture. And once I snap a picture, you'll see that there's an area for me to crop it. I will, all I will have to do is crop this picture so that it takes into account all the good information. So now I just hit crop and save, and you'll see that now I have that receipt. All I then do is I go manual entry, I click it, I select a category, and again, for this example, it's not actually a deduction, so I'm not gonna go through the entire process, but I'll show you the rest of it. So let's say this was a piece of home office expense. I'll click it, you can see where it says home office expense for Kenny Enterprises, and then what I do is I put in the amount. The amount on the receipt is $41.02. It's from Lowe's, and all I would do is hit that Save button. That will automatically allow me to go in and categorize all of my expenses. So at the end of the year, what I'm gonna get is something called an audit safe report. This report then categorizes all of your expenses by meals and home office expense and say it's, uh, it's an internet expense and say it's an inventory expense, all these other expenses that you'll accrue throughout the year and you just simply give it to your accountant. Your accountant's gonna take that and he can immediately input that directly into his interface. He does not have to get his bookkeepers to categorize all of these receipts. What this does for you is that saves you three or four hours that they have to do on bookkeeping and what you're there charging you a couple hundred an hour and all you have to do is give them that, they don't have to do the bookkeeping anymore. And this, luckily for us, only costs a hundred bucks per year, at least for me, I do the annual package. Some people like to do the monthly package, it costs 10 bucks. So a hundred bucks per year or go to my accountant at the end of the year with a box of receipts and pay him two or 300 bucks an hour to finish that work. You know what I've chosen. I like to use tax bots. So this is exactly how I deal with my bookkeeping. And so for those of you guys that are wondering why this is important, what bookkeeping is, is keeping track of your expenses. For us as self-employed business owners or as business owners as a whole, we are lucky because we have a lot of deductions that can go into the business. And so anything business related counts as a deduction for our business. Again, like I talked about, things like inventory, things like internet, things like computers, 
things like food and entertainment and those sort of things. Heck, sometimes even vehicles can become business expenses depending on your business. And so of course, all of this is at your discretion and you should talk to your accountant about it, but TaxBot is what I use to categorize for my bookkeeping. And I think that you guys should take a good look at it, especially for coming up in 2020, to have an ability to really categorize down, help keep everything in order so that you have an easier, more seamless process with your business. Again, I hope this helped and if it did, be sure to click that like button, click that subscribe button because we're growing. We have over 5,000 subscribers now, so thank you so much and comment down below if you have any questions. I'll see you in the next video.